Hello and welcome to the Joy Corner. I'm Carol Deshane, your intuitive spiritual guide for practical matters and Marconic's multidimensional energy practitioner. Every week I bring you the Joy Corner, which is an I am affirmation so that you can have a chat with your subconscious mind and say, hey, it's time to shift. It's time to let go of some of those things I'm holding on to that aren't working for me anymore. I want a life that's different than what it looks like right now. And that's usually what holds us back is those limiting beliefs that are just stuck there, those fears, those things that we don't think we're enough in order to have something. We don't think we're worthy or deserving, whatever it may be. And I don't say that the affirmations are going to work every time. They are a tool that can help you talk to your subconscious. And you might need multiple tools. Sometimes that subconscious mind is just so entrenched, we need a little extra help. And this time, I kind of wanted to do something slightly different because I allow myself to have fun. It's like, oh, um, am I doing it? Am I not doing it? Why is this coming up for me? If you don't feel like you have fun in life, I had that for a while. It's like I am having fun, but I don't feel like I'm having fun. I have this disconnect between what I'm doing and what I'm feeling. So it may look like to the world like I'm having a great time, but I may not. And I take that with me when I talk to my clients because it's like sometimes you need to know, are you enjoying yourself? Well, not really. So then why are you doing that? It's okay. Don't judge yourself. Just try and figure things out to see what matters to you and what doesn't. Allowing yourself to feel fun is allowing yourself to have joy. Sometimes subconscious may say you don't deserve it. It may say that's too frivolous. You need to be serious. It's irresponsible, whatever it may be. But you can have fun doing a lot of stuff. I actually sometimes have fun working on numbers. I'm weird, I know because I feel very accomplished. It feels like, oh, this is great. It's a challenge. It's really cool. I really enjoy doing it. And not all the time, because you need a break from numbers, but it's something that it's like, oh, I didn't know I had fun doing that. I knew it was the best part of my last job, but I didn't realize that I really liked it until I started doing it on my own remotely for other people. So go ahead and don't, you don't have to know what fun is to you, what you have to do to get there. You just need to know that you can allow yourself to have it. So when you start feeling that you're having kind of a lighter feeling about something, then you can allow yourself to go, oh, that's what fun feels like. This is fun. I used to call fun my F word because I never swore and well, almost never swore when I was younger. And I thought, oh, it's the word I don't use because I don't know how to have it. And it was silly because there was nothing holding me back. But I just, I couldn't get past that. I don't feel it. I wasn't connected to my emotions and I didn't know why. So I had to work on that. And there's different levels of why something is not working in your subconscious mind. There's all different kinds of beliefs that could be stuck in there. Totally different from anybody else. You won't be able to have somebody say, okay, here's a formula. Because it's going to look different for every single person. But this is one tool that you can use to try and unravel what the the problem is underneath. So here we go. We're going to say it three times together. It's, It's a positive statement. It's a present right now happening statement. So you want to be as fully present as possible. Let go of whatever's coming on in your life and then feel it. And when you say it, feel it like it's really real right this minute. Okay, so here we go. Take a breath and let go of whatever is in your thoughts right now. And let's say it together. I allow myself to have fun. And then take a breath and allow it to feel like it's going through your entire body. Sometimes I think it when I'm breathing rather than saying it out loud. So it's almost like I say it a few times. And then breathe again, and let's say it again. I allow myself to have fun. Breathe again. Feel it going through every part of your body and your brain. And then one more time. I allow myself to have fun. And take another breath. And allow all of that to be your current truth. 
I allow myself to have fun right now, anytime that I want it. I allow myself to have fun. You might have to remind yourself about this because when you're not having fun and you're around people, you might go, wait a minute, I allow myself to have fun. And you go, oh, and maybe you'll feel a little like break or something. You go, and you'll go, oh, oh, okay. I'm going to enjoy myself. I don't need to worry about something. Maybe you're given the party. You're worried that there's enough food. Is everybody having a drink? Because you're a great hostess or host. But have fun too. Enjoy what's happening. Otherwise, why'd you do the party? If you're playing games, enjoy yourself. Be there. Be part of it. Really allow yourself to feel that bubbling up of joy and that funness, I guess I'll say. <laughs> Fun is not necessarily the F word, but it can feel like it sometimes if you think that you should be more, I can use old fashioned words, stayed, more respectful, more serious about things. But it doesn't have to be all the time. Feel that fun. I find myself laughing when I shouldn't now because for some reason I have that extra bubble up of laugh. My ex husband used to hate that. He goes, Why do you laugh on serious stuff? And I went, I do. I didn't know that. And now when I do it, I go, oh, I hear it. Oh, there it is. Sometimes I like it. And sometimes it goes, oh, that might've been a little inappropriate. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have left there. But it's more of a little chuckle that kind of comes. And sometimes it used to be a nervous chuckle. And sometimes it was just a little bit of joy bubbling out. Allow that to be who you are if that's what happens. It's okay. Don't let people judge you and have you take it to heart. Listen and go, hmm, okay. And then be a third party as you are and just say, oh, huh, that's interesting. I wonder how does that impact me? And, oh, it's just their problem. I don't care. It doesn't bother me at all. Don't take it to heart all the time. Be aware. Learn whatever lessons you can when people tell you things. Sometimes you invite that kind of information, but then do what you need to do for you and don't allow them to rule your life either. As I always say, when you do the affirmations, just say them three to five times in one sitting. You can do number of sittings. You can do it a number of times during the day if you want, but only do it three to five times each time because you want to have that really strong current moment, that present moment to be powerful. You want it to be really present tense because you want it to feel like it's really real right this minute. It is your truth. It is your reality right this minute. Even if it's not when you get out of the affirmations. If you can feel it losing its powerfulness because you do it a few more times than that and you go, oh, maybe she's right. Just know that you don't need to do it more than that. It will supercharge the affirmation if you feel into it and make it your reality. But that's up to you. If you can do that, then it will help it move through faster. Thank you for joining me here today. Again, my name is Carol DeShane. If you like what you hear, by all means, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can also, if you want something longer, I have a podcast. It's called Connect to Joy. Connect, the number two, joy. And if you want to read more about me, you can go to my website, which is connecttojoy.com. Or follow me on Instagram under, you guessed it, Connect to Joy. <laughs> Until next week, please, by all means, know that you are already enough to have that joyful and limitless life that you desire. You are an authentic, beautiful being. And there's just things you need to get through. There's things maybe that are limiting you, the subconscious things that are our lessons in life. So don't be too hard on yourself. Don't judge yourself. And know that I will hold space for you, knowing that you are already what you need to be, if you can't see that for yourself quite yet. <laughs>